Kentucky's Day at the Track. I'm Amber Philpott getting you ready for the running of the Kentucky Oaks. A gorgeous Oaks Day across the Bluegrass State. Kentucky Derby Day looks even better, and I'm tracking summertime just ahead. So his death sparked protests in Baltimore. Now, investigators say Freddie Gray's arrest was illegal and six police officers face charges. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 4. Good afternoon, I'm Jennifer Palumbo. This is a big weekend in the Bluegrass State, and so far the weather is perfect. We'll head to Louisville in a moment, but here in Lexington, it's a beautiful afternoon. This is a live look at Triangle Park in downtown where temperatures are close to 70 right now. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has a first look at the forecast, and Chris, this is a winner. Boy, it really is, Jennifer. I was looking at that shot you had from downtown just then. Absolutely gorgeous, and a lot of folks across the region seeing a similar sky condition, though a couple of trouble spots still hanging on to southeastern Kentucky. We were looking at a downtown. Let's look out to where we are a little farther to the east and to the eastern side of Fayette County. Uh, it's a mix of sun and clouds out there. You mentioned that thermometer getting close to 70. It's 67 officially right now. Humidity at 51 percent. 69 into Frankfurt. Look at Churchill Downs right at 70 degrees right now. 70 into Covington. Though we get into southern and southeastern Kentucky, notice how temperatures here are lagging a little bit. 59 Jackson, Harlan at only 55, just low 60s showing up into the London, Corbin, and Somerset area. So the core of the warmer temperatures today compared to yesterday is right on top of northern parts of Kentucky. We're 10 degrees warmer than at this very same point in Lexington. Life First Alert Defender has nothing going on for precipitation. But here's why we're so much cooler in the southern and southeastern Kentucky. Still some clouds that are hanging on and a few more to go through as we go into the evening. But the focus of the forecast, Jennifer, is on basically summertime that is coming a little early this year. We're going straight from below normal into summer in the seven-day forecast in 15 minutes. Chris, this weather is perfect for Oaks Day 141 at Churchill Downs in Louisville, a day that celebrates the ladies. The Kentucky Derby, of course, is known as the Run for the Roses. Today, the Phillies run for the Lilies. WKYT's Amber Philpott and Deanne Stevens begin our live team coverage at Churchill Downs. Hello, ladies. Hey, good afternoon. Jennifer. Hello to you, Jennifer. Boy, it is beautiful here. The sun is certainly shining on our old Kentucky home. Churchill is a great place to be. And Deanne, we've done a number of these together, and this one by far is one of the most beautiful in a while. I said earlier, today has been absolutely picture perfect for Kentucky's Day at the Downs. People come from all across the world for this event this weekend, Oaks and Derby. What Mother Nature has provided to show off the state of Kentucky. It's fabulous today. It's hard not to enjoy this kind of weather. Weather for sure. Well, here at the Oaks, there's a little bit of something for everyone from the fashion to the food to the horses. There is something for every single person to enjoy. Pink lilies. It's the way to get your day started off at the Kentucky Oaks, the signature drink. Thousands are expected here at Churchill Downs, a day set aside for the ladies. While it's billed as Kentucky's Day at the track, we found folks from Ohio to California all here to take in a beautiful Kentucky day at the track. Oh, I just barely walked in and got my first fun drink, and I'm excited. I'm excited to see everybody's fun outfits and have a good time. It's a great time. I get excited. It's like Christmas. I couldn't sleep last night. It's just so much excitement. The horses, all the people, everyone dressed up, everyone's beautiful. It's a great time. You know, we take for granted. We've grown up here. We love the Oaks and Derby. It is so great seeing it through the eyes of people from out of state yeah. and just how much fun they really have when they come here. It truly is a magnificent day here at Churchill Downs. But what about the race? We're talking about the Oaks race. Uh, set to take off at about 549 today. Rob probably right. with us. Who should we be betting on? I probably wouldn't be the first person to ask. <laughs> I'll tell you, there, you there, have are, an idea. there are four or five really good ones in this field. It is not the clear cut like with Untapped last year. She really stood out, but it will be just a field of 13 because peace and war was scratched, but they are calling it one of the best fields for the Oaks in years, and one of the top contenders already has run the distance of a mile and an eighth. Dick Gabriel has her story. Everywhere you see Kentucky Derby Colts, there are Oaks Phillies as well, comprising one of the deepest fields in recent memory, which means a lot of challengers for Condo Commando. Her trainer says, bring them on. 
I don't worry about nobody. I just worry about my Philly breaking good. And then if somebody want to come and get us, let him come and get us. Condo Commando prepped in New York. Two wins and three starts as a two-year-old, undefeated at age three. Her first three victories were by a combined 36 lengths. But she's very easy going over here in the barn. She's very aggressive in the afternoon and the mornings, you know, so she knows what she got to do. She likes to run on the front end, which can be a problem, but Condo Commando already has won twice at the Oaks distance of a mile and an eighth. She is sucking everything good, so hopefully that's good enough for her. Track handicapper Mike Battaglia said setting the morning line for the Kentucky Oaks may have been tougher than it was setting it for the Derby. And even with such a deep and talented field, Rodriguez said he's not worried. It's very, very deep field, uh, but I think we got a very good feeling. And like you guys say, um, she went two times in a mile and a um, That's they got to make you very, very confident. From Churchill Downs in Louisville, Dick Gabriel, WKYT. Thank you, Dick. We are not far off now from the Oaks. Looks like El Kabir could be out of the Derby. Did not gallop as it was expected this morning. All right, and Amber and I have our picks for the Oaks. Uh, I'm a chatterbox, yeah. right? We Money's thought it was appropriate on. for all of us. <laughs> we also have some folks to thanks. Thanks to uh, Stims out of Lexington. Did our beautiful lilies today. And our great friends at the Keeneland Gift Shop. They always provide DNI with a beautiful hat, and they Absolutely. did outstanding this year, didn't they? I would have to agree with that. All right, we'll have much more coming your way from here at Churchill Downs coming up at 430. Why it is all pink here today at the track. That's coming your way. But for now, that's the story here in Louisville. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, ladies and Rob. We'll see you coming up in our next half hour. And after the Kentucky Oaks, of course, it's the run for the roses tomorrow at Churchill Downs. U.S. Hall of Famer Bob Baffert is saddling the top two favorites for the Derby. Baffert has early five to two favorite American Pharaoh and three to one second choice Dortmund. And what some believe is the strongest one two punch since trainer Ben Jones won with Citation and finished second with Coal Town back in 1948. We're working on a number of other stories for WKYT starting at 4.30. Sam Dick is in the newsroom with a look at some of the news in progress. Good afternoon, Sam. Good afternoon, Jennifer. A southern Kentucky school bus driver is out of jail this afternoon after being arrested in connection to guns brought to an elementary school. Charles Hans bonded out late last night. Hans was charged after state police say he ignored a student's report that two boys on his bus had guns. Teachers at DeWitt Elementary later discovered the weapons. State police say that two brothers, ages six and seven, thought the guns were toys and brought them to class for show and tell. Police also charged the children's parents with endangering the welfare of a minor. Lexington police have made an arrest in the city's latest shooting. Anthony Crutcher is charged with first degree assault. Police say he shot a man about one this morning behind Whitaker Bank Ballpark. The victim was shot three times and was later found on a porch on nearby Paris Avenue. Some witnesses say they walked him over here. So from this area to where he, we actually got him over on Paris Avenue, uh, a witness that was with him said that she, he made contact with him. He told her he'd been shot, and she walked him over there. We're really trying to cook down exactly why that happened. The victim is expected to survive. Members of a Kentucky family are still recovering in a West Virginia hospital from a crash that killed a four year old girl. A close friend tells WKYT that the family was headed back to Bourbon County yesterday to attend a funeral when they crashed on I 79 in West Virginia. He says that four year old Caitlin Ruiz was killed. She was a student at Bourbon County Head Start. Caitlin's two sisters were also in the car, but they were not injured. And all seven people were hurt. We'll have more on how people are helping the family coming up on WKYT News at 6 o'clock. That's a quick look at some of the news in progress. Jennifer, back to you. Thank you, Sam. Now to a story making headlines across the nation at four. Six Baltimore police officers now face charges in the death of Freddie Gray. The announcement from the Baltimore City State's attorney came this morning as protests continue in the city and across the country. Stacy Cohan is in Baltimore with the latest. As demonstrations continue in Baltimore, the city's chief prosecutor announced criminal charges against six officers. I heard your call for no justice, no peace. Your peace is sincerely needed as I work to deliver justice on behalf of this young man. Baltimore State's attorney Marilyn Mosby called the April 19th death of 25-year-old Freddie Gray a homicide. Charges range from second-degree murder to manslaughter to second-degree assault. 
The city's mayor, Stephanie Rawlings Blake, said the charges send a message. To those of you who wish to engage in brutality, misconduct, racism, and corruption, let me be clear there is no place in the Baltimore City Police Department for you. In an open letter to Mosby before her announcement, the president of the city's police union said, quote, each of the officers diligently balanced their obligations to protect Mr. Gray and discharged their duties to protect the public. For many in the community, the day's events brought mixed feelings. I think that this in some ways satisfies the community, but it also outrages us that something like this can continue to occur. While he wouldn't comment on the legal process, President Obama said justice needs to be served. I think the people of Baltimore want more than anything else is the truth. That's what people around the country expect. He also asked that the ongoing protests remain peaceful. The prosecutor says warrants have been issued for the six officers charged. The growing thirst for whiskey has sparked a rise in small craft distilleries. I'm Marley Hall in Brooklyn, New York, with that story coming up.